Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Pass the Money. Y'all know who y'all are, so we ain't getting to that. Uh, today, we're going to talk about delayed gratification. Again, delayed gratification. Delayed don't mean one day, one week, one month. Delayed mean delayed. And today, we're just going to talk about, you know, that subject, that nuance of it. And today, I, you know, I'm starting the intro on the video because I want to let Alex, you know, Alex, you know, We've been more on the journey of Alex's journey, or we've been more on the topic with this channel of Alex's journey from going to, you know, 16,000, you know, headed to the millionaire status. So, Alex, with that being said, let's go into your, you know, your view on delayed gratification, because I got many stories about Alex and his delayed gratification, but I want him to talk about it first. So, what we got? I mean, so, like, in what aspect? I mean, there's some, uh, there's a lot of things maybe i've delayed but like just, what just, anything just specific what you, what no just run through what you got i mean so there's some things where i can say like thankfully i i don't care too much about i'm not i'm not one to really care about clothing uh the fashion and all of that as y'all can tell it's just plain t-shirt every time um cars and stuff like that no i'm not a car geek i don't know anything about cars other than how to do basic maintenance so stuff like that thankfully i was never one to try and like show off or i never had that desire to like try and show off um but there's some things i like there's some you know i like cigars kirby can't stand cigars cigars are uh pricey <laughs> so you know uh i'll buy like a pack for real cheap rather than uh like throw out cigars what they call them but things like that are like there's things i like to collect but what i tried to do as far as delaying that gratification was whatever i liked i tried to find a way that i could make money off of it so that i could buy it and not have to come out of money that i was earning at work to pay for it if that makes sense so like a lot of you guys that maybe have been following the channel possibly know that I've talked about selling military antiques. So I like to collect mili military antiques. I'm a big history nerd, I guess you can say. And so from collecting military antiques, what I would do is I would buy them, sell them, flip them basically, and use that money to keep buying more. So it was like the arbitrage of it funded the hobby. And so I quickly realized like there was nothing else that I really like that was a money pit for me going out to eat and things like that. Not really. So, but this is something that I really like to do. And so it was a benefit to me that I could make money while doing it and not have to come out of my own pocket. But as far as like um, leisure things, I would say traveling was the most delayed thing for me that now I'm starting to enjoy. Yeah, and I remember I remember we're having that conversation with you. Um, so Alex's ideal of reaching financial freedom, you know, he was just trying to get to he was trying to be able to be like what the what the people say, hey, I want to retire when I'm 65 and be able to travel. And I said, Go travel. Just go travel. It's no it's if you find other avenues to pay for the travel and then those avenues are going to keep paying for it then go for it the problem that i see a lot of people have is they save all their nickels and dimes from their paychecks and then they go on one trip and to go on the next trip they got to save all their nickels and dimes again um what alex did and i mean same thing that i always talk about and what i do is instead of using my active income from work to pay for a trip pay for travel what you do is you use your active income and i'll just use a rental property pay for a rental property and then the cash flow from the rental property will pay for your trip but the great part about that is once you buy the the asset the rental property the business or whatever what have you dividend stocks what have you after you come back from the trip to go on the next trip you don't have to go invest in another property or anything else that asset will keep generating income to fund your next trip 
But so what Alex do and what we try to teach on this channel is to use your active income and keep buying assets to go on trips more often, more fat, um, go on trips more often, faster. And then more, as you buy more assets, the money accumulates, you can just buy more. Now, Alex, you know, he used that money, the drip, the cash flow and things like that to buy more assets, which is good. And then every now and then he goes on trips. Eventually, when Alex reaches his 30s, he's going to have so much cash flow. He's going to be on trips and then we're going to have to find somebody else to do these videos. <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, like Alex, I got all my traveling stuff done in my, you know, 20s, 30s and things like that. So I'll always be here, but Alex, he might be MIA. So y'all watch out for that. But those was, you know, some of the things that he was delaying at the time, which at the time it was perfect. You know, he thought that he had to wait till then, but then now he's doing it because he see that if he puts his active income, his W-2 job, his day-to-day -day work life, and just focus on assets. I see it all the time in companies and things like that, where people, they save up their money, they go on a trip and then they say, okay, wait, I got to wait to budget again to do it again. If you use your active income to buy assets, you can do it whenever, you know, whenever you want to, especially depending on the number of assets you have. Like this year, my travel schedule should be light. It should be light. Hopefully it is because I hate traveling, but I think I got, you know, a trip any like two trips in the united states two or three trips in the united states and then my wife leave the country and then as a family we leave the country one more time i think that's the end goal hopefully it is because i don't want to go nowhere else but it's all going to be paid for from assets it's not going to be paid from w2 work it's not going to be paid from my wife's retirement it's not going to pay for any of those avenues and that's something that Alex, once he got that and he started understanding cash flow, because, you know, he was from the realm of, you know, buy and flip, buy and flip, buy and flip. And that's the same thing with buyer flippers. They are active income earners. They only can make money when they're buying and flipping. But when you start buying assets, it's going to keep paying you if you're doing work or not. Then it gives you the avenue to do bigger things over the long term. So, Alex, it was, it was funny watching you do it and and uh brain fart yourself of you know like oh when when can i go travel when can i go travel but now that you see it now it's much easier and then you see the 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 greatness of it is okay well i just use my money to go buy another asset and then i can just go travel faster i can go travel faster and then yeah, next thing you know we're gonna be doing videos alex gonna be in Colombia on a <laughs> on a beach somewhere naked or something <laughs> and we'll have to censor them out no. or something like that uh, no. but, but that's that's the key of it no it's interesting because you know I never thought I'd get to a point where like uh I mean I, I knew eventually but I didn't know it would be this soon that like today our cash flow can pay for a trip every month if we wanted and you know a lot of people they have to save years sometimes for like two years i've i've heard some people that they have to save just to go on a trip and so it's it's a uh, it's definitely like a sense of freedom once you start to build that cash flow and i think that's why i try to be so aggressive with that drip as you called it and just put it into more assets because i want it to get to the point where like we can travel every day if we want to like so i don't want to get comfortable with what I've got coming in and say, okay, I'm done. I want to keep it growing and make it go from there. All right. And for the viewers out there, Alex too cheap to travel every day. So he ain't going to do that. <laughs> he, Alex, Alex is a go on a road trip. We can't stop at a restaurant. We're going to get a bucket of chicken and we're going to make it last. For three. So don't worry about him going every day, but he's going to be gone sometimes. Don't, don't forget. Uh, no. no, Kirby will force me. Just like he forces me to eat sushi nowadays. Goodness. Like, yeah, there you go. But, but with all that being said, guys, go get there. With all that being said, guys, uh, if you have any comments, let us know down below. Share this video, like this video, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one.